What's up, hackers and fantasters the Shadow Brokers here back again with another video. In today's video we gonna learn how we can scan XSS vulnerability of web applications. XSS or cross-site scripting is one of the major vulnerabilities found in web applications. If you own a web application you should know how to scan for XSS vulnerability. If you do not own a web application, still knowing about it will help you in the future. So what is XXS or cross-site scripting? Cross-site scripting is a technique in which attackers inject malicious scripts into a target web application and may allow them to gain access control of the web application, but it will differ depending on the type of cross-site attack. There are mainly three types of cross-site scripting attacks. First, reflected cross-site scripting. Second, stored cross-site scripting. And third, DOM cross-site scripting. If you want to know more about it, please visit this port swigger site. In this video, we are going to scan a website for XSS vulnerability. The tool going to be used here is called XSpear, which is written in gem and it's very powerful. Let's see how we can set up and use XSpear in Kali Linux. First fire up your Kali Linux machine and clone the XSpear from GitHub. Then, navigate to the directory where you have downloaded it and expand it. Now it's time to start the installation process. Before you start, make sure you have gem installed in your machine, and install the XSpear script by this command. After successfully installed, we can launch the scan process by using this command. Here we are using a website legally just for educational purposes. Now, it will list all low, medium and high level issues. In this result XSpear has generated the report and found 24 vulnerabilities. Cross-site scripting has always been a powerful attack for hackers. This attack is just basically a game of codes. You have good knowledge of different web-based programming languages. You found a website with XSS vulnerability, then play with it. If you have any questions or problems, check out our XSpear article link in the description. And if you have any idea for future video send me a message on Twitter. Otherwise, that's all we have for today's video. Make sure to like comment and subscribe. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.